what's going on guys? Christopher Yaks here, Aquascapes of Michiana. If you're ready to love your backyard or in this case, the Potawatomi Zoo and uh, building the Potawatomi Zoo's dreams one boulder at a time, you guys can see that I'm right here in a hole right now. This is actually gonna be the intake. So we're actually getting the intake dug today. Um, set at we already set elevations. We got the, let me flip you guys around. We've already got, we got our, our uh, uh, gazebo feeding platform, uh, concrete wall set, the crew's up there. They're getting everything leveled off. They're getting it packed down for me. You guys can see this nice hill. That hill is actually gonna extend all the way up to the top of that concrete wall over there. And uh, so I'm just kind of starting as far away as possible from them, letting them do their work. And I'm actually getting our intake for our pumps, our plumbing. I've already got the trench ran for our plumbing up and around and up into there. And uh, so we're gonna have 18, 16 uh, large aqua blocks right here, able to flow 32,000 gallons an hour. We're gonna have our three pump vaults right up here against this wall. All our plumbing coming out there and going up and around right about where that bed excavator is right there because that's where our wetland's going to be or approximately where our wetland's going to be. And uh, yeah, I had a very big concern about, you know, hitting, hitting water um, at this depth. I'm at about three foot right now, which the pond itself, which is going to be right here, is only going to be about six to 12 inches deeper. So that's a great thing. I have not hit any type of groundwater or anything like that because they told me they were hitting groundwater up there and they've had to do uh, tile drains and stuff like that up there. So I was really hoping that wouldn't transfer from there to here. So yeah, I got a lot of work going on and I uh, got a lot of things happening here. People all over the place, you know, as you guys can see. People walking by, people walking around, people checking out the animals. And I tell you what, when I am running this thing, making this dirt pile right here, every single little kid stopped and was looking at what I was doing and oohing and on. You guys will see it all on that, on that footage right there from that GoPro, the new GoPro 9 we just got. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Just gotta tidy this up. This is all to grade right here and level off with my handy dandy come along and I'll just fill this in and that intake is going to be done. So catch you guys later. See ya. As you guys can see, my buddy Jeff Michaels sitting right there. And uh, today is Sunday. We're getting the excavation on the pond done today, guys. Um, unfortunately, one of my childhood best friends, his dad passed away suddenly, and uh, I had to go to a funeral. So shout out to my buddy Corey Klein. Hang in there, buddy. Uh, we all love you. And uh, But we are back today. Jeff came in uh, about 10 hours early just for me so he can hop in this machine here and uh, we can get this excavation going and we can get this thing dug. Oh yeah, that's that's not groundwater. That's just, that's rainwater. All right, watch your bucket, I'll shoot you. You're there. That's it, right there. Huh? Why do you think I hired you? <laughs> so obviously, you know, you guys know that I am a master pond builder right here in Elkhart, Indiana. And uh, Jeff is actually from Detroit. But uh, on a project like this, and a project this large, it has so many turning wheels and cogs in it, I can't do this by myself. And rather than having the expense and the hassle of training new guys, I keep my crew size and I hire people like Jeffrey Michaels here to actually come into this project, help me with the project, bring his over 25 years, yes, I'm calling you old, over 25 years experience of building ponds. And uh, he's actually here today helping me get this done because I'd rather pay somebody handsomely to get the job done right than try to save money or do this cheaply by trying to hire people off the street that don't know what they're doing. I'd rather hire a clone of myself who knows just as much, if not more, about building ponds and everything that goes into it 
rather than trying to get away with uh, using cheap labor. So quality buys, you get what you pay for. All right, well, I'm gonna hop in this brand new cat skid steer. It's a 279. This thing has three, three hours on it. Wanna thank our partners at McAllister Cat for getting us these machines here. We also got a 315 that is gonna be coming tomorrow morning. We got a 308, we got a 279. Uh, we've also got my Bobcat MT100. Big shout out to Bobcat of Michiana for hooking me up with that machine. Absolutely love it. My guys absolutely love it. And uh, we are going to get this thing rolling and we're gonna get this thing dug today. All right, happy ponding. right here behind me we are getting our wetland filter filled in with gravel on day number one yes so obviously you guys know we got Carl operating the 315 which he will not get out of he absolutely loves that machine says that is the best machine he's ever ran in his life yes that means you Harley Calpy even better than yours but uh, we are getting that wetland filled in right there getting that up to the top of our centipede, of our uh, snorkel centipede system right there. We've also got two bolts going in right there because, let me turn you around. So our pond here, obviously right here we got our intake. You guys see we got our plumbing line that's going in underneath as we do in wetlands. It goes down and underneath. It goes underneath all this gravel. Gets comes up through all of this gravel that's gonna flow down this waterfall, right it back into the pond. We're actually, hey, move! Move out of the way! We got two pondless vaults right there that's actually gonna act as our, uh, uh, basically this is gonna act like a pondless waterfall basin because we've got another waterfall all the way up that way and two pumps are going to go in there and they're going to pump water out of our wetland up to the top of our waterfall so it's going to come back down into here drop back in here and then everything else is going to flow over here so it's actually going to be a two-step system water pumping from the pond intake up to the wetland and then from the wetland another pump is going to take it up to the top of our waterfall because the waterfall, the stream itself is actually going to be 93, 95 feet in length total, plus the, uh, plus the pond is another 50 feet in itself, and then the intake is another six feet wide as well. So one pump is not gonna be able to pump all the way up there, so we actually cut it in half Put our wetland right next, uh, right in the middle of our stream. So that way we've got two pumps 
pumping up into our wetland and then we've got two more pumps taking out of the wetland to pump it up the rest of the way to the top of our to the start of our waterfall so that way we have awesome flow uh, we're gonna be flowing 20,000 gallons an hour into the wetland so that the wetland waterfall the the, the wetland waterfall down to the pond is gonna be flowing 20,000 gallons and then from the wetland to the top of the waterfall, it's gonna be flowing 18,000 gallons. So we're gonna have a decent amount of water flowing through this thing, and um, we're gonna make this thing curve and wind and really naturalize all this stuff. We got great blank space. We've got more than plenty of liner. Um, so, whew, I'm tired. So yeah, end of day one, getting the wetland completely done. So that way tomorrow we can focus on getting the pond liner in and getting rocked in while Jeff and Damien start their trek up to the gazebo feeding platform. And Carl and Matt are gonna focus on the pond. I'm gonna be in a skid steer all day tomorrow, bringing in boulders and all that stuff. So until tomorrow, see you guys, happy ponding.